Hey YouTube, it's Jordan's mom. Um, today I'm going to talk about my December favorites. Um, I know it's not the end of December yet, but it's getting pretty close. I mean, there's only, what, two more days and it'll be Happy New Year 2013. Um, I wanted to do this quickly because, of course, Jordan's asleep and then I'm going to try to get something to eat um, later. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First off, I want to say that one of the main things I've been using this month as far as foundation has been the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, it's very weightless since I'm like just getting into makeup. I wanted to try something that wasn't really thick um, and wouldn't weigh my face down because I'm just getting used to makeup. Um, I'm a shade. Um, 9.0 um right now it's doing pretty good i put it on that to uh sorry i had to put this on not too long ago so i said it with um some maybelline powder but so far so good um just to film this video but i've really been enjoying it so the times that i have put on foundation this is what i've been using um the other day i used my kat von d locket tattoo foundation and it really really looked nice and i didn't even have to use that much um uh for christmas i ordered a beauty blender so hopefully that'll be here soon and i'll get to use that with my kat von d and that might be in my january favorites um, also, I would like to give a big ups to Sigma, <laughs> Sigma Beauty because this brush is a miracle. It has been really helping me with blending in my foundation. And this is the Flat Kabuki by Sigma and this is the F80. So this does really good. I also have um, the F80, hold on a second, the angled one which is, I still have the first guard on it, which is the F84, the Angle Kabuki. It's not the flat top Angle Kabuki, but I haven't used this one yet. It's still brand new, but I might get into this um, sometime next month, January, but this has been my go-to, the F80. Um, I've also um, been using one of the precision brushes from Sigma, which I talked about in my previous haul video which is the p86 and this is the tapered precision tapered does really good around the eye area which is what i did my concealer with today and i used the where did i put it sorry the um maybelline instant age rewind concealer and i am in the shade um honey i don't know if you guys can see it but it's 40 40 is honey um and it's light of course as you can see you can see my face but it's um like i've been trying to get these dark circles out of the way but we're working on it but i really like this i really really like it um so i'll probably be buying some more as you can see this is the one thing that i've really been using um sometimes i'll use it and just with kind of regular concealer over the dark spots on my face and that's pretty much it also i ordered a real techniques and this is the powder brush love 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 this brush um the bristles are soft it's not really that dense but it really gives a good coverage all over the face and i love how their little brushes like stand up on their own i know you can't see it but they stand up they have these little flat parts where you can stand them up by yourself um and i've also been using the tarte clean safe 360 degree creaseless eye primer very very good i've noticed that my makeup is like blending out really well and it lasts pretty long and today i didn't um put on any eyeliner oh and by the way that reminds me this nyx eyeliner the one that's 15 dollars today at ulta the one that have been having daily hot buys it's on sale for 8.99 so i mean you save what's that seven bucks seven six seven bucks so that's a pretty good thing really like this eyeliner i'm trying to get the hang i always get nervous when i use a liquid eyeliner so they have like i always get little like spaces in between and i have to go back over top but this is what the point looks like and it's supposed to like sit perfectly in your hand to help you go across your eye but the couple of times i've used it i can do better on 
my left eye than my right, which I don't understand. But this is a really good eyeliner. If you guys want to try it, I very I really recommend this, especially if you're good with liquid liners, which I'm not, of course. Also, in my haul video, I mentioned this um, Soap and Glory um, gift set that I got, which came with a body butter, um, a hand food, and a shower gel. I completely love it. I've been using it the last couple of days, and the smell is wonderful. And this body butter, oh, the smell is great, and it really has my skin feeling soft all over so i would highly recommend this to anybody who would be willing to spend 20 bucks this is very worth 20 bucks um i went in sephora the other day and i didn't see any more of the gift pack so you might not be able to get the gift pack but this would probably be a good investment and it's the righteous butter is what it's called righteous butter sorry if i'm like aiming at the wrong place in the camera it's not on purpose also lip product Revlon Lip Butter Creme Brulee. Love it. I don't have it on my lips right now. I have the Too Faced La Creme in, in the buff on my lips right now. Then I was drinking something so it probably came off. But I really, really like the Creme Brulee. Um, that would probably be my most purchased Revlon Lip Butter. Because to me, I don't see I don't see why they have to cost eight dollars depending on where you get them. The cheapest you can probably get them is probably at Walmart and they're like six eighty nine or something, but I guess they're worth it if you go to the the Maybelline baby lips. Those are good too for three dollars. Um but really really love these. Really recommend them. Um and also um that might pretty much be it for my favorites. Oh, and I also wanted to point out the I don't know if a lot of people who use Clinique um mascara but they were having where you got a mascara in the bottom lash mascara for was it twenty nine dollars i'm not i'm not for certain but i really like this clinique high impact extreme volume mascara i don't know if you can see the name but it's it really gives my lashes some volume this is what the brush looks like i don't know if you can see it it's very long but it also has the brush bristles on the tip so you could do your lower lashes if you wanted to but I have the lower lash mascara also this is a really really good mascara I don't know if you can see my lashes with the length I actually used max false lashes and then I went over top with this clinic but I don't know if you can see them right now but my eyelashes are like really out there and they tend to be flat without mascara and this like really boosted them up I give big props to that. Also, I wanted to point out these cuffs that I'm wearing. And I found these um, by watching um, Makeup by Tiffany D. And they're by Current Custom. And I wear more sterling silver than I do gold. So I picked up sterling silver. Um, not to mention I'm on a budget because I am a parent. So I picked up these sterling silver ones, which I love. Um, and I also ordered some more. Um, but I have yet to receive them. That's the one thing I would say that I don't like about them is because it takes a long time to ship. So I ordered them the on November 26th and I have yet to receive them. And they shipped out on December 20th and now it's December 29th and I'm still waiting on them. But I guess it's worth the wait. And I also have this Glam Rock watch which I really really like. Um, so this is, that's a part of my favorites. Also, I just wanted to throw it in there. Oh, and this isn't a part of my favorites. That's pretty much it for my favorites. Um, I picked up these Henry Bendel Pearl Studs. And I'm going to tell you a funny story. I went and got them, is it the day before Christmas or like, no, it was the Sunday before Christmas. Went in the store because they had one in Pentagon City. And this was, these were in my haul video. And when I took them out to put them on the other day, I noticed that the back of the earring, one of them had the right post. I'm going to show you what the post is supposed to look like. It's actually a little thing that says Harry Bindle on it. I might have showed it to you. But yeah. And of course, the one that the set that I picked up, one of the other earrings just had a plain little plastic post on the back. 
So I took them back and the girl was like, ew, who does that? And she just swapped them out for me. I didn't have to show anything, any proof of purchase or whatever. She just took the old ones and swapped them out. And that was that. But I was really kind of teed off because I didn't feel like going all the way back to the mall. Otherwise, something else. A gift to me. Ta-da! It's Clarisonic Mia 2. I'm so excited. Can't wait to try it. It's the zebra print. I'm loving it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I've been using my um, Olay uh, face brush, the little Pro X thing. But I'm anxious to see the difference. If it's really worth the $150 that you pay for it. Um, I believe this one was purchased at Macy's. I'm probably not supposed to know that being as though it was a gift. Um, but I'm really anxious to see the difference. Um, I've been using um, Purity by Philosophy. And it's been doing my, my skin pretty good. Um, I'm still trying to get rid of some dark spots. So if anybody has any suggestions on how you can get rid of dark spots on your face, please let me know. I've been using a Garnier Dark Spot Corrector. It, I think it was new, though. But maybe I'm, like, being impatient and I should wait. And this is the packaging that it came in. And get a little traveling case or whatever. So, so cute. And here it is. Oh, the little baby. And it has a little cover on it. A little brush. Where is that first one? I'm just going to snap this back on there. But this is it, my Mia 2. Can't wait to use it. Um, I may try it out tonight. We'll see. Oh, you also get a little sample. Refreshing gel cleanser. There it is. I don't know if I'll use this, but... Um, we'll see. I might try it out. And you get your little charger, and then you get a little um, traveling case. don't really know how you open it, but... This is a little traveling case. I'm really, really excited about this. I'm really excited to try it because everybody's been talking about it. You know what? I'm not going to film because then I'm going to start concentrating on that. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I think that's pretty much it for favorites. Um, if you wonder what was on my eyes, if you can see them. Well, if you can see, the lighting will probably be better with my other camera, but this is what I'm making do with my other computer. I have a laptop and then I have a desktop. Um, and today, I'm thinking that this might be in my favorites next time. It's the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, and I use these shades, sorry, I use these shades over here. Um, to complete my eye look, which you might get see due to the lighting, but I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. So that's pretty much it, guys. So that's it for my December favorites, and I will see. You oh, I can't forget Neo CD Red. I've been loving it. Playing it in the car, playing it in the house. Great songs. If you are a Neo fan, pick it up. Listen to it on iTunes, something, just so you can get a taste or feel for the music. But this CD is phenomenal. Good job, Neo. So, bye, guys. See you next month.